that's enough about the hot tub business. Guys, your next act is uh, is a very good friend of mine. He really is. He uh, he's like uh, he's, he's he's pretty much my best friend in comedy. Uh, yeah, I'm a sad, lonely man. But uh, no, uh, he's uh, he's a he's a, a regular. He's a friend of the pad, if you will. He's uh, he's a guy that always comes up here every every Trevor's pad uh, to wow you with his. He's such a good writer. He makes me sick. Anyway, uh, no, the, your next act, everybody. Very good. Uh, very big hand for my friend Thomas Mapleston, everybody. I don't have a best friend, but uh... <laughs> Danny can't make people come, right? <laughs> so, uh, as you guys know, I've been working on my autobiography recently. I, uh, I I forgot to, to do this, but this is a new one, a new chapter I've written. Uh, this is the harrowing true story of one man's fight against the awesome and brutal power of Mother Nature, and also drugs. <laughs> this is 137 million little pieces and hours. <laughs> oh shit, my arm is stuck on this rock and it's probably going to get cut off for sure. Unless I can somehow cut the rock into pieces with this knife, or maybe even cut off one of my legs and use it to pry the rock off my arm. That should do it. Ow, fuck. The pain of cutting off my own leg certainly isn't helping with that pain in my crushed arm. If anything, it's making it worse. And now that I'm about halfway through my thigh, I'm starting to realize that this may not have been such a good idea. I mean... I'll never get enough leverage holding my severed leg with only one arm. What was I thinking? <laughs> Shit, maybe I should have gone for the arm the first time. Man, I'm losing a lot of blood. I might have to... I, I might have to crush my cut up leg with a rock just to staunch the bleeding. Yeah, that did it. Phew. Should be smooth sailing from here on out. <laughs> Man, being trapped here with my arm and leg crushed under rocks really reminds me of that time I got locked up for doing tons of drugs. Man, what a crazy time. It's a miracle I didn't die. It's a miracle I'm even here at all. I mean, not really a miracle that I'm now crushed under two heavy rocks in the middle of the desert. That's more of a reverse miracle than anything. I don't even know how I ended up here. It must have been all those drugs I was high on. Last thing I remember is being in jail because of all the crazy shit I did in my life. And now I'm here in the desert, just fucking crushed under some rocks. <laughs> I guess it's true what they say. Into every life, a little giant arm crushing rocks must fall. I just wish they had fallen somewhere other than my arm and now my leg. Although to be fair, I actually put that one on my leg to staunch the bleeding from when I tried to sever my own leg a little while ago, if you recall. <laughs> Just bad luck. Man, if it wasn't for bad luck, I wouldn't have any giant rocks crushing me currently. I know it's not right to blame it all on bad luck. I have to take some of the blame. I mean, if it wasn't for my insatiable appetite for heroin, I probably would have stayed on the straight and narrow, had a family, been a productive member of society, but no. The siren call of China White was too strong. <laughs> I can even hear it now. Hey there, how you doing? Yeah, doesn't look so good. There's some huge rocks crushing you and shit. I bet you wish you had some sweet black tar horse right about now. I did. I did wish for that. But even more than that, I wished I could turn my life around. Maybe get out of here and write a sweet book about my experiences. But even more than that, I wish my arm and leg weren't crushed under some big huge fucking boulders. Enough was enough. I decided at that moment to get busy living or get busy continuing being crushed under rocks. And I was all out of bubble gum. I reached into my pocket, passed my cell phone, and grabbed my knife. It was time to write the part of the book that is the only reason people would read this book. Biting my lip, I started to cut off my crushed arm. Great, now my lip hurt too. As I cut, skin gave way to flesh, flesh to muscle, muscle to bone. Bone was tough. Imagine trying to cut through a chicken bone, but instead of a chicken, it's your own fucking arm. <laughs> Finally, I made it through and felt a wave of relief and sadness. 
That was my whacking off arm. I was gonna miss that arm. These past few days trapped in the desert, I had had to jerk it with my off hand and it just wasn't the same. I could almost feel freedom. But then the rock that had been pinning my arm shifted and rolled down, crushing my one good leg. Anyway, I won't bore you with the details, but I cut off both of my legs and used my one arm to drag myself out of the desert, and I've never done heroin since. Thank you very much. Woo!